Hello, my name is Eric and today I'm going to talk a little bit about my game Kainga. Kainga is a roguelite village builder, so let's take a look at what that actually means. We're going to jump into the desert and do a rescue challenge where we have to save a fellow thinker who's been captured. Welcome to the flatlands. Space is abundant, but resources are sparse, and natural dangers are everywhere. Like this trudger, a new beast that's been added into Kainga recently. He digs up the soil as he walks, and crushes out everything in his path. Technology in Kainga is based around this procedurally generated technology tree. Each choice you make affects your options and gameplay down the line. Like any city builder, we need to build a few houses. Let me get this town going. Unlike most strategy games, Kainga doesn't have any stockpiles. Instead, we just mark these resources for harvest and our people will come and get them when they need them. Here an enemy tribe has made a demand. If we don't give them what they want, they will retaliate. But if we do give them what they want, their town will grow larger. One of the cornerstones of Kainga is festivals. Festivals can recharge the thinker's favor, and it's a good chance for the town to get together and do something different. In this festival, we've lured a snail in and we're gonna tame it. Snails spit deadly acid that can melt people, but also extinguish fires. Each biome in Kainga has a different weather system. Here we can see the wind of the flatlands blowing through the lands. We've just created one of the new technologies added in, this cloud popper balloon. If it comes in contact with any cloud, it'll pop them saving us from potentially fatal lightning strikes. Aha, what's this? An enemy thinker has started praying at a stone. This is a good chance to attack him while he's vulnerable. Although his warriors are formidable, they're no match for our snail. In Kainga, not only do you have to build a small town adapted to the environment, but you have to complete a certain challenge. Our challenge this time is to rescue this thinker from this cage. I think we've built up a big enough army to rescue that thinker. Equipped with a war drum, our snail will help our people fight with bloodlust. After the rescue, we ran into a flathead's den. This is a very territorial beast that will charge down your people. Let's let our people deal with this while we make the escape. The escape balloon is done. You never know what might happen in Kainga, so it's best to finish the mission while we still can. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this abbreviated look of Kainga. You can wishlist the game on Steam and get notified of updates as I post them. Enjoy! Till next time!